sound speeds, no matter what volume you're recording at. And if you are recording in extremely high volumes, you may look into getting a dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphones are pressure operated microphones, meaning they are pressure operated pretty self-explanatory, but just in case it doesn't make sense by just saying it again, sound waves, vibration travels directly through the air and hits the diaphragm of your dynamic microphone. And because it is pressure operated, that pressure is converted directly into electrical energy. Imagine a drum where the louder you hit the diaphragm of that drum, the more electrical energy was created. That in short is how the sound is created on a pressure operated dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphones are a lot less sensitive to volume than condenser microphones. So if you were to shoot a gun one meter away from a dynamic microphone, it would shrug it off. But one meter away from a condenser microphone and you'll probably damage the mic. But that also means that it takes a lot more gain to get a usable level out of them. So you got to gain it way up or use something more like the cloud lifter or the fed head on it. For sound speeds, I use a condenser microphone because I don't want to have to swallow a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B for you to be able to hear me at the same kind of level. To get a usable level out of it, I would actually have to be very close up on this dynamic microphone to get the same quality of sound that you're getting out of the condenser microphone I'm currently using. But dynamic microphones definitely have their place, and if this were a noisy environment, the dynamic microphone wouldn't pick it up nearly as well as my condenser microphone. But in the real world, the same holds true. And if I were to shoot a gun in the background of someone that's talking in the foreground on a microphone, that better be a dynamic microphone simply because the condenser would pick up too much of it. Because dynamic microphones are not sensitive to volumes, you will seldom see a maximum SPL rating on a dynamic microphone's technical data sheet. You'll see them all over the place on condensers but not on dynamics. That's because it doesn't really matter how loud you put into a dynamic microphone. Chances are you're not going to damage it, even at point blank with a gun. So keep that in mind if you're ever recording very, very close to very loud sound sources and you do not want to damage your microphone. That is great sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.